Rhaenyra is ready for the Dance of the Dragons in a new teaser. In the past few hours, a new trailer has been released showing images of the Dance of the Dragons. The same images that could forever change the history of Westeros, which are slightly different from what we expected to happen this upcoming season. A Rhaenyra who is ready for battle, and who will not stop until she gets revenge. In this video, we will be analyzing this new teaser, and all the secrets of what we will see in the next season of House of the Dragon. And for more videos from the universe of A Song of Ice and Fire, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. Before we start with this video, as a celebration of the arrival of the second season of House of the Dragon, we will be giving away the book Fire and Blood, along with a Funko Pop of House of the Dragon. To participate, all you have to do is tell me which side you support, Rhaenyra's or Aegon's, and why. The winner will be announced the day of the premiere of the second season of House of the Dragon, this coming June 16th. The trailer begins with Rhaenyra Targaryen standing with her back turned at Dragonstone, as these words are heard. We must break the will of our enemies and end this war. The one saying these words is Rhaenyra herself, who looks up at the sky sadly, perhaps remembering all that she has lost. She is wearing a red outfit symbolizing that she is now the one who is at war. We then move on to a scene where we see two dragons facing each other in the air. We see that these dragons are roughly similar in size, and it is possibly one of the scenes of the first confrontation in the air between Rhaenyra's side and Alicent's side. It's the first dance of the dragons, something we've read about but never seen before, and it will certainly be something very exciting. We then move on to a scene where Alicent is listening to someone's words, and you can see in her facial expression that she is scared. If we look behind Alicent, there are candles so it looks very much like the place where Viserys spoke to Rhaenyra about Aegon's prophecy. This got me thinking about one of the theories we heard earlier this year, where it was said that Alicent might meet Rhaenyra at this location. Perhaps Rhaenyra has entered King's Landing to confront her former friend. We move on to a scene where we can see an army approaching a castle. In a closer scene we can see that this army is the Hightower army as it bears their family sigil on its banner and their colors on the flag. Apparently the High Towers have either sent reinforcements to King's Landing or have begun marching towards the castles they now consider enemies. We can also see other coats of arms of other noble families of Westeros, such as House Darklin and what appears to be House Stokeworth. In this scene we can see the majesty of this great creature, and the horror experienced by the soldiers when looking at the sky. Undoubtedly this scene will be one of the most shocking, because we will see how Vagar will end the lives of entire troops and other dragons. But Vagar will not be alone. We can see a scene of Amond in a forest. Amond seems to recognize someone, because we can see that he is putting away his sword, and he is staring at it. We move on to a scene where Daemon and the Black Council are planning what the next step will be. We can hear Daemon say that he didn't think they would be so eager to die. This is because Daemon is getting word that the Green Side is on the move, in an attempt to end the Civil War before it starts. The Greens will once again take the offensive, and this is something that amuses Daemon, as he thinks he will be able to finish them off quicker. We are shown an image of Caraxes in the rain where it appears to be Harrenhal, and we see Aegon upset. In this image we can see that Aegon takes the dagger of the prophecy and stabs it into the table. Aegon is upset about something he has heard. The disturbing thing about this is that the dagger of prophecy has mystical and prophetic importance in this universe. But Aegon is using it as if it were a simple weapon to intimidate the people around him. Eventually, this weapon would be used to defeat the Night King. So Aegon should treat this dagger with more respect. This is a serious problem. The fact that a person who knows nothing about Aegon's prophecy carries this dagger. 
as it could be the reason why in Daenerys's time, no one remembers what the true purpose of the dagger was. We move on to a scene in which Rhaenyra is telling Jace that they must see her as ruler. Apparently Rhaenyra is suffering a leadership crisis, as people no longer want to follow her orders. In the video where we talked about Daemon and his transformation into Daemon the Conqueror, we explained the reason why Daemon now doesn't want to follow Rhaenyra's orders. I believe her eldest son is also starting to disobey her. And that's why Rhaenyra says she wants to be seen as a ruler. With the death of Lucerys, Daemon's son and Jace's brother, he has died before the people, and both must seek revenge. The men will look up to Daemon and Jace as those leadership figures. But this also causes a problem for Rhaenyra, who is in that position precisely because they have never seen her as a queen. It is time for Rhaenyra to let go of her fears and take control of the armies. After Sunfire is shown, we see scenes of Alicent and Helena running through the streets of King's Landing. We have mentioned in previous videos that this scene could take place during the funeral of an important character. What's disturbing about this is that Alicent and Helena are surrounded by the Gold Cloaks, those men who answered to Daemon and that it's possible that many of them are willing to do something on behalf of their former commander. This means, Alicent and Helena are surrounded by enemies, and they don't know how far Daemon's influence reaches. But we move on to a scene of a dragon falling from the skies at high speed, and Kristen Cole running on horseback while Rhaenyra prepares herself by taking up a sword. We can hear Rhaenyra mention that the symbols of authority are not the jewels, but the shield and the sword. This happens because in some scenes we can see Rhaenyra with a red outfit, typical of a woman of that time. But Rhaenyra desires to represent a queen and look as such. She wants to take the sword and the shield and be that ruler for everyone. Also, as we mentioned, Rhaenyra feels insecure because Daemon doesn't want to respect her orders. But this isn't about the way the queen dresses. It's about Daemon feeling distrustful of everyone because due to following protocols, the Greens have taken control. And until Damon feels safe, it's possible he's acting on his own. This trailer has been quite interesting, as we see more of the Dance of the Dragons. But we know they are saving the best for the series. But tell me, what do you think about all this? Did you like this teaser? What do you expect from this second season? We are less than three weeks away from the premiere of this new series. So if you want to know all the news and stories related to the universe of A Song of Ice and Fire, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you like this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos with theories, news and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Three-Eyed Raven.